Alright, what is going on guys? The mod menu tutorial video is here, though it was requested by so many people, I just had to do the video. So this is, once again, without jailbreak, there is no jailbreak required. You're going to need these four files that are up on the middle of the screen right here. WinRAR, Notepad++, and these two CFG files that are all going to be in the download in the description for a download. I got you guys. You don't have to search for them. You're also going to need a empty flash drive and the MW2 hard disk. You can't have it digitally downloaded off the store. So anyway, you want to open up Arctic Patch, the first one, um, the first CFG file, and there's going to be something called Buttons Default. You just want to, sorry, you just want to go ahead and drag that out anywhere it doesn't really matter I drag it out to a folder you can drag it out to the desk to a desktop you can put it in a folder it actually does not matter I put it in a folder because I have my personal menu on my desktop and you can't have both of them because it still has you can't rename it keep it as buttons default um, anyway don't like change like what the like uh, don't change it to any type of file keep it as a CFG file so anyway as you can see it's in the folder now make sure it's properly extracted make sure you don't actually open up the winrar file make sure you extract the buttons default <coughs> from the file so anyway next you want to open up notepad and notepad um, is also going to be in the description um, it's simple to download it's going to look like this you just want to click file open pretty easy and you're going to want to find that file that you put into wherever you put it. You can put it on the desktop, in a folder, doesn't really matter. This is re extremely easy, but for the people that do need a tutorial on this, I'm willing to help you guys out. So if you guys do enjoy, please um, go ahead and leave a like because this video took me a quite a while to make and get all the footage. And as you can see, it's quite long, so I hope you guys do stick around to the end. So anyway, as you can see, I'm about to open it right here. Um, and here's the actual coding for the menu and as you can see lines from 12 to 17 I delete and that is you you're gonna want to delete that because it's uh, it just messes up with your game honestly I delete uh, 12 to 17 and this is just like as the menu will come like to you personally when you download it that's what it would look like so as you when you delete from 12 to 17 you're going to want to click uh, press control H and this window is going to pop up and all you want to do is click find what and in the find what bar you're going to want to find the uh, user's name the person that made this menu originally Arctic Patch all credit goes to him by the way to making this just aw, like awesome menu but anyway so here it goes Arctic Patch actually I made a mistake there it's actually Arctic no space patch. I accidentally put a space there. My bad, guys. I actually fixed it in the end. Anyway, in the replace with, you're going to want to put your gamer tag. Your full gamer tag. Make sure it's exactly with the capital letters, every capital letter, every underscore, dash, whatever. Make sure it's exactly as it is, or else this will not work for you. Anyway. Um, once you have it, you want to click replace all, but as you can see, I made an error, but you just have to fix it. Make sure it's no spaces. It's just Arctic, no space, patch, and now click replace all, and if it says 341 occurrences are replaced, that means you did it correctly. Good job. All you have to do now is just back out of this and save it, and it's going to save the actual buns default. It's going to save to the buns default file, and you, so now take that buns default file wherever you put it, and you want to put that onto your flash drive. Um, make sure your flash drive is empty, by the way. And um, so yeah, you're gonna want to put it, drag it to your flash drive, and it's make sure it's the first thing on your flash drive. Now, the other part you're wondering, what's the other thing for? Well, uh, as you saw, I didn't actually put in my Noobs R Us gamer tag. I put in a random gamer tag that I just made, and it's it's gonna be level one, so I can put in unlock all. And as you can see, all of these files here, unlock all is going to be on the way bottom. All you want to do is just drag that to your desktop. And if you want modded stats, modded classes, they're in there too. But make sure when you drag that to your flash drive, make sure buttons default is always on the top. But now it's time to get into the actual game and see what this all looks like from the game perspective. Um, all you have to do is take out the flash drive and put it in the right port of your PS3, the right port. Not the left. If it put it, if you put it in on the left, it's not going to work. Make sure it's on the right port of your PS3, right USB port. As you can see, I have the hard disk uh, uh, of the MW2 game. There's my account right there, and my flash drive is right there. 
So uh, make sure, as you can see, my game is not jailbroken, or my PS3 is not jailbroken. And you, once again, do not need jailbreak for this, so don't ask in the comments. You don't need jailbreak, and you never will be needing jailbreak because it's extremely easy. It's probably the easiest game to mod, besides like COD World at War and COD 4. Anyway, you're gonna wanna actually. Uh, I was kind of surprised because this lot, this this was. Um, I don't really know why, but it was already prestige 11 so i was kind of like okay then why not so i actually uh decided to uh join my friend see my friend's hosting cfg you're gonna need an infection called cfg you can get this from anybody a lot of people have this just ask random people online you'll eventually come across it or um uh, you can maybe try to add me, or if you want to go into the comment section below, I'm sure someone's going to be generous enough to host it for you. Someone's going to leave their game tag. Anyway, once you go into split screen, you want to back out, when, uh, go into split screen, create a file, and go into the pregame lobby, go into game setup as I just did, and make sure you turn game unlocks on. If game unlocks aren't on, you, this won't work for you. So anyway, you just want to choose a random class, and you're going to want to... I'll press select up to open the menu and then you could just back out of the game um, once you're backed out of the game <coughs> that'll take a second you could just back all the way out and go back into multiplayer and now you can go and start a match in a private match and I call I named my um, pregame lobby whatever the title cheesecake factory because I don't know I like cheesecakes they're pretty legit I don't know but uh, actually as you saw my thing was um, uh, my thing was level 69, so I decided to reset my stats to prove that this does work. By the way, the, you can change the, you can edit the, your, it's where on the coding it says set UI game type. You can change it to whatever you want. I put Cheesecake Factory because it makes some people laugh that it's just so random. Like, no one would ever think to put that. Like, it's just personal, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, so as you saw, um, I deranked myself. And, um, uh, yeah. I'm gonna just redo it one more time just to prove it um, that this all works. So I accidentally messed up and deer myself twice, but you know it happens. Actually, now I'm just gonna go into the prestige manager, and you can go all the way up to 300, but I think I'm just gonna stick with 11th prestige. Press X to confirm the prestige that you want. I want 11th, and so yeah. Once at 11th prestige, you're at level one. You just wanna start it up again. And uh, now I'm just going to click the level 70 button and it makes you level 69 but once you go into an online game it changes it to 70 as soon as you get like a killer or something. I don't know. Something crazy like that. Anyway, as you can see I have nothing unlocked. There's nothing there. Um, but now I'm going to go ahead and head into the uh, menu again, account menu, and we're going to head into uh unlock all this time and we're gonna unlock everything as you saw in the beginning i looked went through all my titles and nothing was unlocked as you can see how everything is unlocked all the titles as you can see everything all the titles there every challenge all the emblems there they go i decided to put the nuke because i like the nuke i'm gonna go ahead and unlock every single kill streak it's not gonna really take a long time and uh, next we're gonna um, uh, <clears throat> show off uh, how to use God mode because I got a lot of questions on go uh, like how God mode works. <clears throat> it's pretty easy. Uh, I'm just gonna invite a friend to a private match, which is gonna start right now. So pretty much, I'm just gonna start explaining God mode now. There, in admin menu, there is an option called Team Change, and I'm gonna do it from the online perspective. If you're in an online game and you have to be host for God mode to work, just saying. And once you're host in an online game. All you have to do is click team change and once you can then change teams online and you're not able to uh, and then all you have to do is just click ch uh, change team and hit spectator with X and then you're going to be spectating a person and just hit R3 um, uh, which is uh, team change one more time on your menu your menu is still going to be up uh, and all you're going to want to do after you hit R3 again which is team change just spawn back in and you're going to have got mode. In a private match, you don't have to hit team change because you can already t change teams in private match. So, um, that's the only difference between private match and online. As you can see, I'm inviting my buddy here. Shout out to XD Solo Mods for helping me out with this. He's a true champion. Anyway, um, 
yeah, uh, as he's about to join, I'm gonna ask him to kill me and to prove to you guys that he can kill me and then he won't be able to kill me once I actually activate the god mode. So as you can see, he can kill me there. So now I'm gonna go to an admin menu, team change. You don't have to hit team change. I actually I accidentally hit it. You don't have to hit it. You gotta wanna hit spectator. Now you wanna hit team change while you're spectating someone. And now you just spawn back in and as you can see, um, they can't kill you anymore, which is, <laughs> it's pretty funny, honestly. Um, they can still flash you, the only thing that registers on you is a flash. That's pretty much the only way you can die. Um, so, yeah, they can't really kill you, and you can kill them. Next, we're gonna just mess around with these people in private match. We are actually gonna go into online, though. But before we go into online, I have to introduce Force Host. And there's gonna be another cutaway for like how to activate force host. It's pretty simple, but I decided to make another cutaway for force host. But in the uh, right here, I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a preview of what this menu can really do. And this is just with two people in here. Um, there's just uh, my friend and my friend's friend. So I'm just gonna uh, just I turn all the mods that I'm using for one shot, one kill, all of those to make it look like that. Um, I'm gonna explain all of that once I'm in the online session because the online session is quite long-ish. I'm gonna explain everything that I haven't explained so far. Any questions that you might have it are definitely gonna be answered in the online session that's gonna be the rest of the video. But as you can see here, I'm just uh, messing around. Um, but anyway, so now I want to talk about something before we get into online and I explain the rest of the menu. Okay, for the people that can be extremely kind and know how to do this, that have figured this out, um, would you be so kind? Uh, I, I mean, if you don't want to like the video, that's fine, but in the comment section below, would you be so kind to comment your gamer tag and, and host CFG for people? Because my friends list is almost full, and I honestly can't host CFG for every single person because I don't want to be deleting people left and right. Honestly, it's just a lot. Um, so anyway here here's the force host uh, I'm gonna explain what force host is in a second but to activate it all you have to do is just start a game by yourself and just click it force host on in the quick menu and just end the game now what this does is that people can't uh, people have to join you and you can't join anybody and how this works in online is you start up a game and people can only join your pregame lobby and uh, I mean other people that are force hosting so uh, I got into a ground war match on high rise uh, I prefer the FAL for this mod menu the FAL is a great gun so anyway in the map menu you're gonna want to hit um, rust rust is the best map I'm gonna go to the map menu and change it to rust of course there's my friend XD solo mods again he knows what's about to happen he knows stuff is about to go down he was looking at me like he was suspicious. Anyway, so now you want to go to game menu and want to change it to free for all, so you can kill all 17 other people in the lobby. So now you want to do the thing I talked about, the team change thing. And now uh, you see all the things that I'm activating right now, like going really quickly. I'm gonna talk about that as soon as I uh, start mass murdering people. Uh, I'm gonna talk about every single thing that I have activated on this mini. I won't miss anything out, and I'm gonna talk about all of it. So here goes. So, to actually, uh, before we actually talk about it, look at that. Did you see that? Did you see, it's 50 per kill. 50 points per kill. So, if I get 400, that means I kill 8 people. So, it's, 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 it's pretty, I, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, I don't know. I just love this a lot. Anyway, I'm just saying, like, those are just a bunch of poor victims down there. So, anyway, going into it, um, to advance on the menu or, like, press like you're pressing X you actually want to press um, R3 and to go back is square um, that's pretty much all you and to open the menu again every time you want to open the menu it's select up um, especially the first time you want to open the menu in the game sometimes it just works if you just press up but I recommend just pressing select up um, and now as you can see some some little douchebag started spamming me and I'm not gonna take spam so all you have to do is hit the fun menu, it's in the fun menu, and honestly all you have to do is go to the last page and you can just disable the mod menus, and um, I told him to stop spamming, I warned him, so I just go to the last page in 
the fun menu and it lets you disable the mod menu so they are not allowed to spam anymore they're not allowed to even use their menu anymore they all their mods are taken away from them just because I'm host so as you can see I'm beasting and feasting on these noobs uh, so now we're gonna talk about every mod that I'm using it to make it look like um, I'm just literally dominating so starting with the quick menu once you actually get the menu you you wanna turn on FPS and FPS um, shows you shows that if you are host or not and honestly FPS is extremely useful so here's how to tell if you are host or not if you're new to this um, if it says if there is no gamer tag you, see, you can see like there's some number and it says teams if there's no gamer tag to the left of those numbers that means you're the host if there's a gamer tag and it is your gamer tag to the left of those numbers then you're the host if it's someone else's gamer tag to the left of that to the left of those numbers you're not the host it's somebody else so next uh, on the quick menu once again as soon as you get the menu in private match you want to activate force host to play online because either way as you're gonna join other people's sessions and you will it's gonna be pretty hard for you to get host so anyway uh, but keep in mind you won't be able to join anyone while you're on force host you can turn it off you can just go into a private match and turn it off if you want it off. It's really um, your choice. So anyway, in the quick menu, you also want to turn on the last aimbot. There's two of them, I think, maybe even three. But you want to turn on the last one. It's uh, it's like machine. It's like strong aimbot, whatever. You want to turn that on. In the admin menu, you want to hit cheater pack, and you're also gonna want to hit. Uh, of course, the god mode is in uh, admin menu. It's the team change. So you you want to do that in the beginning of the game. Make sure you turn on god mode right away because once you're in god mode you're gonna have to activate all the mods all over again like the explosive bullets but we'll get into that so um actually once you spawn into the game i think the best thing to do is to change the map to rust no matter what game mode you're playing and then change the game mode to free for all no matter what game mode you're playing i recommend free for all um so i mean if, if i got plus 500 that means it's like uh i don't know uh it's uh uh 10 kills right there so Honestly, it's you're gonna kill a lot of people, especially if you're doing ground war. But ground war is only for people that have extremely good internet. If you don't have great internet, I'd recommend playing maybe team deathmatch. But anyway, next you wanna go into the full lobby menu, and I have super jump on right here, and I have the low gravity on. I have the gravity on sent to space. You can um, make it slow motion. You can make it extremely fast motion. This is just editing my like the actual gameplay of the video. The actual gameplay, I don't have it in fast motion. Um, this is just me editing the video to like consume time because the video is already long enough, you know. So anyway, um, next uh, in the full lobby menu, you want to turn on unlimited game time. This is extremely useful because you can kill forever until you call in the nuke. I also want to turn on um, modded teams just to show people what's up. And then finally in the perk menu, you have the option to go all the way up to nuke bullets. And it's the, fir the first option is explosive bullets. All you have to do is go right on the d-pad to turn it up. And like, you know, turn up. So anyway, go right on the d-pad. And once you turn uh, all, all the way up, it's going to be nuke bullets. Um, then you want to hit all perks. And then finally, as I'm about to do right now, I turn everything off and I turn on Superman mode. To use Superman mode, just hit it in the perk menu and then sprint and press X, sprint and jump, and you're going to fly into the sky while everyone's on the ground. They're all on the ground. And I'm just spraying down on them. Um, it's actually kind of unfair. A lot, Most of the people that are in the game honestly back out because, I mean, who wouldn't? I would back out if someone's in the flies, uh, in the sky, flying around like a chopper gunner. Uh, I'd, I'd, I'd rage quit. So um, just keep that in mind that most people are going to rage quit if you're going to do this. Just keep that in mind. Anyway, finally, we're going to prove that we are in an online lobby um, because I'm about to back out and it's going to be in an online lobby. So if you guys did enjoy this tutorial and this helped you out, please take two seconds to leave a like and peace out.